Howdy. Howdy, partner. Howdy, Lee. How you doing? <laughs> that was the worst American accent ever. Anywho, uh, nice bit of playing there, Mr. C. Th- thank you. Will we be hearing that on Radio 2 anytime soon? Yes, it's on Radio 2 and Planet Rock coming up very soon. Yeah. Um, so we're just revisiting a, 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 a guitar that um, uh, Pete and I have done a, a more in-depth video about the tech behind these, which you can go and watch if you follow one of the links in the description below. Um, but the vibe with the with this Fender Acoustacaster, um, which is a, an American-built new guitar for 2019, is it's designed by a guy that uh, previously worked at Taylor and came up with the Taylor T5, which Rob and I have played before and we really, really liked. Yeah. And, and Pete, funny enough, Pete and I revisited in 2018 and, and liked. But the, the T5 definitely felt to me like it was sort of going, I'm predominantly an electric guitar, but I can do a bit of a job as an acoustic guitar yeah. as well on a certain mode. Anyway, the dude, I think his name's Brian. Apologies, Brian, if that's not your name. Uh, but it is he's, now. He's, he's been at Fender for a while now. <clears throat> and he's kind of sort of come up with the latest take on, on, a, uh, on this kind of concept of a hybrid acoustic electric guitar. And so the acoustic are now, but this is very much, it's got its feet firmly in the acoustic camp, kind of going, I'm predominantly an acoustic guitar. But... If you want me to be, I'll, I'll do a reasonable job of being an electric guitar. So in the video that I did with Pete, we played guitars. We played these guitars. We left them with the bronze wound strings that they come strung with from the factory. And we talk about what it all does and everything. And I was talking to Rob earlier on and we thought, I wonder if we put electric guitar strings on them and sort of said to Rob, you approach this as an electric guitar player yeah. that maybe just wants something a bit different Well, I'd be quite funky. surprised because then Pete said it's got a gain knob and you can get gain sounds if you put it on that one. And then I tuned it, got my slide out, and I was really impressed with the way it sounded with a bit of the old slider-roo. Yeah. Um, and you get these... Whack it in the back, that's what she said, and suddenly, with all the gain in, you got... So the, the concept in this video is that we're all plugged into electric guitar amplifiers using electric guitar pedals and sort of, in Rob's case, electric guitar strings. And I guess approaching it, I suppose, with an, almost an electric guitar technique. If you've not watched the long video or the, the previous video that Pete and I have done on these, essentially this guitar has uh, four, of the, four of the positions on the blade switch uh, in conjunction with the, I can't remember what they call this, uh, knob, but like the sort of a modeling, like acoustic modeling knob, if you like. Um, we'll give you acoustic guitar sounds. A modeling knob. A modeling knob. The back position gives you a, a more of a traditional Telecaster sound, so you can use that with some sort of drive. But uh, I don't know really. I mean, I, I, one of the things I'm immediately less comfortable with playing this guitar is having the heavier strings and the wound third on it would mean that I couldn't play the sort of stuff that I would typically play on the electric. So I'm kind of keen to, to, to have a play on, on that guitar too. But nonetheless, I would still say, given that I'm just plugged into a, a, an electric guitar amp, I still think it does a very convincing. Right. 
Let's jam. What key would you like well, me to play? Play some in? blues, any key out of mind. I'll go in E. Ending. Um, can I uh, trouble you to, to swap? Yes. Because I, I really want to. I really want to feel like playing an, an acoustic electric guitar. Yeah, I really want to feel kind of what happens. Oh yeah, it's. I haven't even strummed it yet, and I can immediately feel it's more familiar. This is really hard to play now. Exactly. Yeah. Are you in funny tuning still? Have you? Tuned no, no, it? I tuned it. To Interesting. Just string them all like that. So it immediately doesn't sound as acoustically as that, though, does it? No, because... Because it's not the right string. It's weird, isn't it? I, I would say the only thing that I'm noticing, and perhaps we can probably try and EQ this out, but it's a little bit through an electric guitar amp. Trebly. No, I was going to say the opposite. It's like a bit woo on the oh, bass. Oh, I end. thought it was, had a trebly top on it. It's, but, a, it's but now overloads put it, it, doesn't it in the back and give it the gain. But that's the that is just telecast, isn't it? That's great. Yep. No, um, I've not got any distortion on my board here. That's all coming from the guitar, modelled like a sort of a, a gainier. Well, it's, it's a Telecaster through a Fender Deluxe, I think, if I remember rightly. But it's yeah, it is designed to be. So it 
is a model, so it's like a line six. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's funny, you're playing an acoustic pretending to be an electric. Yeah, it's not modeled, it's not modeled in the sense of pitch to MIDI or anything like that. It's all using, um, I know I've tried a, uh, there's a, there's a uh, Larry Fishman who did all the electrics for this or it collaborated with Fender on all the electrics on this, has a, um, uh, worked with Martin to do something called an Aura system. And the idea behind that was all the different settings on the Aura system emulated using different microphones to record different types of acoustic. So you could dial through lots. Of, and this is kind of the same concept, but right. it, rather than different microphones, it's just designed to sort of try and create different yeah, yeah, yeah. acoustic guitar tones. You know who really needs one of these? Ingvar Malmsteen. <laughs> I was suddenly thinking. Anyway, myself, if you're watching, or if you say, ever watch any of these videos, gonna... a, I love you. B, you need one of these guitars because you will do it supreme justice. I love. That sounds nice. Do that. Well, I'll give you. I'll give. I'll play the rhythm part, and you you play on the. Because you'll you'll need. Oh, you'll need to be able to noodle over that. Um, and I That's can't definitely remember. what the world needs, Lee. Is I can't remember what you need to play. I think it's just Lee. basically. So you don't have to tell me. I'll just, I'll just do it. I got it. Put some delay on. Because you're making it be a thing it's not, but then it kind of does. I like it. I think it's I think it's cool and funky and crazy lightweight. I so. like this one. That uh, that colour puts me off. Oh, with, the colours. Yeah, I don't mind and the colour. And also, on this. isn't it weird having such a tiny sound hole? Well, I funnily enough, aesthetically, I think the the thing I like the most is the is the way the wood goes into the sound hole here, and then you see this. It's almost like it some sort of underground water cavern thing that sort of expands into the chamber and the- well, Like a giant- Ooh. <laughs> It's uh, but yeah, shout yes, out to the- like a giant- Ooh. From the back here, it looks like a really cool custom shop Telecaster. Do you like the- Do you like the- um, Recessed. Recessed. Yeah, I do think word. that's a nice little touch neck of- um, Yeah, thing. I like it. Plus they've got a tilt for the neck angle. And um, I mean, I'm guessing this is, uh, that looks like rosewood, but it can't be rosewood. This is mahogany neck. No, no, what's the stripe? Oh, uh, who knows? Maybe it looks rosewood. a lot like rosewood Could to be. me. And then that looks like Macassar ebony. Um, it's really cool. Oh, and I'm put it this way. I want one. I certainly want one. I mean, what I like, I think almost the biggest surprise of all. It's a great little jamming around writing tool, isn't it? But anyway, this was only supposed to be a little five minute video just to kind of see what does it sound like if we put electric guitar strings on it. 
This I is, just really want to play This is always a good though. sign. It's always a good sign when you can't get Rob to stop playing. <laughs> I like it. The black goes well with your uh, outfit, your T-shirt, and the stripe on Thank your you, hat. Luke. You look good with your outfit too. Well, what, the snot green with my blue Anderton's hoodie on it? Yeah, maybe not, but... Uh... Funny. Funny. Ah. It's been such a long time since I practiced Slayer. Anyway, I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh.